guys. So uh, yeah, I'm home. Uh, most of you had figured that out already anyway because it was so late. Um, yeah, not quite what I had intended, but you know, here we are. So uh, I'm gonna make this a short video uh, as quick as I can. Um, so uh, what happened? Well, uh, if you saw the last video, um, you uh, saw that Joe had a, a had injured his back. Um, he ended up going to the urgent care. Uh, I went out and finished the Shenandoahs. He went to the urgent care, and she pretty much confirmed that he had a really uh, a badly wrenched uh, muscle in his back. And we pretty much knew that there was no way he was going to be able to go back out there. Um, <laughs> I had decided that um, even with him, you know, going home, I was just going to stay out there and try to finish that section and get down to Parisburg. Um, at, at least that way I would have, you know, uh, I, I would almost have at least half of the trail. Obviously, when I started out, I hadn't planned on it being a section hike. I had always planned on this being a through hike. Um, realistically, though, you know, everybody else was like, eh, I don't think that's going to happen. And, of course, I'm hard-headed, and uh, I chose, you know, not to listen to that. And I was just going to do, uh, you know, I was going for it. So, anyway, uh, logistically, it is really hard with trying to get home with the infusions and all of that. So pretty much this has turned into a either a lash <laughs> or, you know, uh, which is a long ass section hike or, you know, section hike, whatever. Anyway, so Joe was going to end up going home. Um, I got the bright idea that I was going to keep going. And I had, I was already, you know, unbeknownst to everybody, I was already late for my infusion. And I thought, well, you know, whatever. Um, I, you know, I'm, it, it's not going to hurt me to be a little late, right? A couple weeks, uh, you know, whatever. It, 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 it'll be all right. I'll be okay. And um, so anyway, while I was at Stanimals and uh, getting ready to go back out the next day, I, uh, I guess someone had been checking up on my chart and noticed that I was really late uh, for my infusion. And so I got an email, um, you know, what, what's going on? Why are you, you know, so late? And I told the nurse what was going on. And then, so the next thing I know, I got a message from my doctor, uh, uh, my surgeon and my doctor who said, get your butt back home. Um, you are risking, um, you know, permanent damage, uh, more than I could ever say, really. But so, uh, she said, you know, you really need to get home ASAP so that you uh, don't risk ending up with a ileostomy back. So anyway, uh, I decided to just call it. Um, you know, it is what it is. I, uh, I've been struggling with it since I've been home. Um, and it's been, you know, I've had some depression issues with being off trail and everything. And, uh, you know, but uh, it's not the end of the world. And it, it was actually, all in all, a really good thing that I came home. Um, I First thing that happened was I had an, uh, a reaction to my infusion, probably because I was so late for the medication. So I got past that and then immediately got the flu. Uh, when I got home and ended up sick uh, in bed for, you know, a week and a half. So glad that didn't happen while I was out on the trail. That wouldn't have been much fun, especially with the weather getting colder. Um, so uh, here's where we are. Uh, you know, Joe's back home in Texas. Um, I'm home here. We are still keeping in touch, obviously. Um, I, you know, didn't make that halfway point. But I am between six and seven hundred miles in. 
So that's something. Um, there's a couple of sections I need to finish up. One is a little section in Grayson Highlands. I need to, to get Grayson Highlands uh, area done. And, and then I've got that, that section from um, Waynesboro to Parisburg. So yeah, uh, but still I've got, you know, 600 plus miles in. So here's the game plan. Uh, I do plan on knocking those out. I'm not sure exactly when. But, uh, so Texoma and I are already planning for next season and hoping to start in uh, the spring at Harper's Ferry, uh, the halfway point, and hiking up. So that is the game plan at this point. We are going to work towards that. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep uh, doing some training while I'm home, uh, you know, hiking, hiking with my pack on so I don't lose too much conditioning and I'll probably start doing some weightlifting and, uh, you know, keep that up. And I just wanted to thank all of you guys for all of your support. Uh, I'm not done yet. You know, I'm going to keep fighting it, uh, tooth and nail until I get it done. I'm going to finish the trail. That is the goal. And, uh, there you have it. That's what I'm doing. So anyway, uh, short video today. Thank you guys for everything. And uh, I am gonna put out a little video about um, things I started with versus things I ended up with, you know, what was working, what didn't work, um, those type of things. And uh, so hopefully in the next week or so, I can uh, get that on the schedule and get that done. But uh, anyway. Thanks guys and love you and talk to you soon.